high. So we're talking about complications uh, when you're trying to get rid of those tenants that always pay late and you're looking for that top rate tenant, sometimes you're stuck with that, that one tenant that just does not uh, know how to leave. And so you have gone to trial uh, in the justice court, they've appealed it, and now you're at trial uh, in the county court. And so we're, we're talking about complications. One big one is the tenant has a right to a jury trial. And if a tenant asks for a jury trial, you can get delayed significantly. Where, uh, generally speaking, um, the case should only last four to eight weeks on appeal. But sometimes it's hard to impanel a jury especially if you've got a number of other cases in front of you. And so the idea that you're going to get heard quickly, that's just not a guarantee. And so if a tenant requests a jury, you've got to think of a better way of resolving this case. Uh, in fact, sometimes I tell clients, um, you're better off paying them money to leave. And I know you're like, no, that no, you're already turning off the video. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's simple math. If, if it's going to delay the process by two months and you're losing two months of extra rent, right? Because even if you get heard in two months, that doesn't mean they get out, right? Now, maybe they're paying their rent into the court's registry. That helps. But, um, you know, sometimes some creative uh, bargaining uh, is, is really helpful in, in cases like this. If a tenant demands a jury, you're going to have to get... Uh, creative uh, and potentially you're going to have to get um, uh, you have to become willing to uh, make some concessions right and so that might mean some kind of agreement that results in a non-suit of the case that might mean uh, waiving certain fees or waiving certain uh, uh, amounts just to speed up the process because if they know this is like the ultimate delay tactic uh, and all they want to do is stay anyway and they're paying their rent into the registry, you may be stuck with a tenant for two to three additional months, which is not something that you want. And so if you make it attractive for them to leave, you, you might be able to get them to leave. Now, of course, if they ask for a jury trial, they pay the jury fee and they get a three-month delay, but they stop paying into the court's registry, well, you have every right to file a hearing uh, in front of the judge uh, in the county court and, and ask for an immediate writ. But if you don't know how to do that, uh, you know, you, you can be in some trouble. So if you have a tenant who has filed an appeal and on appeal they've requested uh, a jury, um, don't just wait for the hearing. Uh, get proactive, find a creative way to bargain with that tenant to get them out, right? If it's about a repair, make the repair. If it's about uh, some other squabble between you and them, you, you, you might have to make a concession. But if it's about rent and they're paying rent into the registry, um, you're gonna have to you have to present present something to them that they find attractive that either a fixes the problem that you have with them that caused the eviction to be filed in the first place, or b uh, motivates them to leave. And if that's what you want the most, uh, again, you may have to make a concession. You may also have to shell out some money. Uh, however, and that's not always the case, uh, uh, you know, getting creative can involve all sorts of things. And so if you, you know, need somebody to talk to you about that, you know, there, there's me, right? And so, um, but, but jury trials in eviction matters are, are a huge complication. They can be avoided with good bargaining. All right? Well, have a good one. So send me your questions. If you've got questions about uh, landlord-tenant law and there's something you're a little shaky on or something you just need a little clarification, uh, post something in our Facebook group. Shoot me an email at uh, ernie.garcia at attorneyeg.com. Uh, it's right there. Uh, or post something in our Facebook group. Uh, if you're not a member yet, join our Facebook group. We look forward to you. Uh, if you look on Facebook, 
Um, we are Texas landlords. Uh, finally, if uh, you want to call, that's our number. Feel free to call us, and we'll be happy to help in any way that we can. And so keep your questions coming. I'm happy to answer as many questions as I can.